Hi, welcome to Paul Paul's Workshop. I'm continuing my adventure on learning the light burn software and using my JTEC Photonics laser. It is great. And today I'm still working on those sheriff badges that I have been doing. And today I want to show you a new feature that I found. It is taking the text and putting it on a path. And it allows me to create this type of an arc so I can put the whole word in and precisely align it up without any problem. And in less than two minutes, I'm ready to engrave. I want to show you how I did it today, so let's get started. This project is coming along really great. I've got the captain and the lieutenant done, as well as the sergeant badges all done. And all that's left now is three of the corporal signs that I need to do. Of course, those are going to be the silver color. Now, one of the things that I want to be able to point out, when I started this project, sergeant was what I had in here. And I had to place those letters using the easel software individually and align them individually and that was a real difficult task to be able to do. Well in the light burn software there is a wonderful feature that you can use to be able to take the text and apply it to the path and it works great. It takes care of aligning all the letters at the same time. That's how I put the word captain in. That's how I put the word lieutenant in and today I'm going to put corporal in so that I can go ahead and engrave these last three when I originally created this sheriff's badge instead of having sergeant up here at the top it had sheriff in here and that was all and of course I needed to change that and the only way that I could do this in easel was to place each of these letters individually into position. And I just used this font, which was one of the basic fonts in the easel software. And I was able to place it, and by trial and error and moving, I was able to get them in position, and they look pretty good. When I transferred this over to the Lightburn software, there's a wonderful feature in here that allowed me to place these letters in perfectly. And it is a line on the uh, text, or text on a line. And now what I need to be able to do this, I need to get some text in here. And I'm going to type the word corporal. That's what I'm going to need for this one. And let me go back up here because I don't want to end to my sign. So I'm going to go from the bottom right up and just touch the C and that should capture just the words so now I'm going to move that over out of the way now then with that in place I can do I can add a circle and I'm going to place that here now then the good thing about this I can actually capture whoops let's get rid of that Let's go back up here to my select tool. Let's delete this one. Now then, with the select tool, I can highlight both of these, and then I can come up to the tools menu and come down to apply path to the text. Now we've got them joined. The next thing that I want to do, because I want this across the top, so I need to rotate this 90 degrees. So I can come up here and just type in 90, and it will rotate it. With that in mind now, I can go ahead and just grab the little nodes and move it and get the correct angle and put it in here. Now before I place corporal into position, I want to go ahead and get sergeant removed. Now I've ungrouped this, so these are all individual pieces. So I can go ahead and highlight the S, and by holding down the shift key, I can go ahead and select all of the word sergeant. And 
and I have to catch that little inner piece also or it won't all be done because remember all of this is ungrouped. So now then I can just slide that out of the way and there we go. I've got that out of, out of the way and now I can start working on the corporal. And the first thing I want to be able to do is resize this. Okay, with the word corporal now highlighted, I can come up here and resize this because I need to get it about the same size letters as what I had in here. So if I just play with this a second, you can see that that's just about the right size letters. So I can go ahead and slide it over here now. And now I can actually start working with it and position it exactly where I want it. Now, the other thing, I don't need Sarga anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that and remove it. I'm also going to go ahead and center this entire project back into the center of the screen. And now, all right, that's actually looking pretty good. I want to select both of these and I want to slide this over just a little. And you can see where I'm a little bit closer here and higher there. So I need to bring this down just a little bit more. We'll slide the whole thing up to be able to center it in the space. I think I'm going to slide this down a little bit more. That's looking really, really good. And I need to go back up a little bit to center it. Yeah, I like that. Now then, the one thing that you have to know is that the word corporal or any text that you use is permanently attached to this. So right now, if I went to engrave this, this guideline that we have would actually engrave as well. And of course, we don't want that. So what I want to be able to do is highlight corporal itself. Now with corporal highlighted, I'm going to come down here to my layers and just click on the green. And now that is attached to this fill line here to this layer. The ellipse that I have for the guideline is still black. So what I want to be able to do is make sure that that output is not checked and I don't even need to show it. So now it is ready to be able to engrave. This is a wonderful feature to have. It makes doing this so easy. I want to point out now, in literally just a couple of minutes, I was able to put the word corporal in there and I'm ready to engrave this. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.